Hey there, it's Alka. And Jen, and welcome to another episode of the Creative and Ambitious Entrepreneur Podcast. And in this episode, we are talking about how profiting from an e-commerce business is easier than you think. Yeah, that's right. When people first think, oh, I'm going to make, uh, like, put a, create a business online because everyone seems to be doing it, uh, they right away look and Google and, and check out what's, you know, really the businesses that the, are there for them to choose from. And usually the first search results come up and it's like Amazon or Etsy or, you know, I have to make a Shopify store. What is that? And so people forget that there's other things on the e-commerce uh, space that can actually be more lucrative, less work, working smarter, not harder to get an e-commerce business off the ground that's successful. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're going to talk about today. So if you are one of these people that has looked up all the business ideas and you're going like, I have no idea which one I should be taking, like starting on and taking advantage of, or um, you've already been on Amazon, Shopify, or Etsy, and you're going like, wow, this is a lot of work. Mm -hmm. What the heck? <laughs> like, I thought this must be passive online income. Then you're in the right spot because today's podcast is all about talking about the the benefits and disadvantages of some of these platforms and an other opportunity that's easier, right? Mm -hmm. You can profit more easily on a platform and we're going to introduce you to Zazzle if you have yet to hear about that. It's a print on demand company which means that um, people only buy or sorry the product only gets made once people buy which we always love because that's all you know environmentally friendly mm -hmm. um, and it's it's kind of cool because the whole setup of how you can operate and create an online business in e-commerce using this platform called Zazzle is so much easier than Amazon, Shopify, Etsy. It just blows your mind. It's like, what? I don't have to do this. What? I don't have to do that. So we're going to get into those details t uh, in this episode, and we're really excited to get you um, like converted to the Zazzle <laughs> platform and also just help you out because why are you doing all this in the first place, right? If you're do creating an e-commerce online business the reason you're doing it is because you want passive income mm -hmm. that you don't want to be at a job anymore you don't want to be at nine to five and you don't want to be in a cubicle or and you want to have like more income than maybe what your salary cap is even though you just got that raise and you're going like I'm still working too hard for that raise and uh, that's what we really want you to emphasize like understand that we were in those positions before where we like worked our butt off for an entire year and we got a very minimal raise and then another cases our jobs were at stake because things happen like for instance now if you're still watching this while we're through this covid cycle here then it could be that you're literally at uh, the mercy of someone else's business how they're running it because you're you need them for a job and if their business isn't running properly then you're out of a job right mm -hmm. and we don't want you to be um, tied down to that as much we want you to have your own business that you can control um, and receive earnings from but when you get online and you go like, okay, I want to work from home, don't want to be in a COVID space or any of that, it's just like even like, this sounds much better than just working nine to five. What do you choose, right? Because once you start and you choose a platform, more than likely that platform is going to really take up a lot of your time to get going. So what we've done is in this particular episode, we're going to talk about some of the um, benefits of the best platform in terms of working the best, in terms of smarter, not harder, and uh, getting the least um, or having the most profitability with the least amount of um, active work, more passive. And that's going to be cool to uh, address all those things and compare Amazon, Shopify, Etsy, and this platform called Zazzle, which is a print on demand company. Mm -hmm. Okay, so some of the key points we're going to cover, obviously, is how does Zazzle compare to all these other platforms? And what's the benefit to you of starting on Zazzle rather than, let's say, Amazon or Shopify or Etsy? And then the next thing is some of the other benefits of what it is that we, uh, like how easy is it to get started? Um, what kind of opportunities are there short-term and long-term? And then also, you know, how do you get paid? And like, how does your life look like with this opportunity rather than one of the other ones that you could choose if you wanted to start an e-commerce business. So let's get started. Mm -hmm. So should I read the list first before we... Uh, well, that was kind of my breakdown. So we're going to cover those okay. four points. Okay, right. So uh, let's start with uh, if you're on, uh, if you're very, very, very new 
and you have yet to even understand, okay, well, she said Amazon and Shopify and Etsy. What are those? Mm -hmm. Well, there are other opportunities for people to make money online, and some people are crushing it on these platforms. Uh, They're making sometimes even like six figures a month, which is cool, but is that sustainable, right? So first of all, and the six figures, when people see that and they and you see all these gurus online saying, I know how to start an Amazon store or a Shopify store and you can make like six figures in mo- a month. Yeah, but how much money did you pay for ads? How much money did you pay for shipping and handling? <laughs> how much money did you, or how much time did you spend packaging things up? How much of that money is tax, that sales tax? And so when you start asking those kind of questions and really dive in, it's like, hmm, maybe this business isn't for me because there's a lot of like outlay of cash and inlay and extra hours to get some work done so that you can say you can make six figures a month. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and also are those people truly making six figures consistently over and over again? Or is it like a one-time thing and then they sell a course? And one of the things you'll get to know about us is we talk about um, the amount of money that we make and we're very open and honest with it and we we tell you hey uh, the business we're in which is th- doing a business on Zazzle uh, we make a certain amount of money but it's a long term um, over years time um, uh, endeavor and we if you want to make six figures in six months this is not the podcast for you um, instead go and check out one of these other people but the risk is higher and so what we want is a nice steady income, which um, we've gotten to six figures, which is really cool, not per month, but per year. And, but you know, we've also been in this e-commerce space for over 14 years. And that's the cool part. Some of our products that we've made and like we have on our store in the Sazzle platform, we made over 10 years ago or even 14 years ago, and they're still selling. Not every one of them, but some of them. And so that's super important for you to understand is where where do you fit in in this business model? Are you the you know, big Ferrari, here's my mansion, and I, I can go travel all the mm-hmm. world in first class because um, I make six figures a month? Then that's okay. You go and tra- check out the, t- the teachings of those people. But uh, if you're here just because you want a nice steady income, that you can work um, up and get going to the point where you don't have to work anymore. You can actually create a business that allows you to do your hobby (laughs) rather than the other way around of having a hobby or a side hustle that um, you're going to to start to, you know, uh, use to make that extra cash. You can have it, that side hustle be your business so that you can go and do the fun things again that you wanted to do in the first place when you started looking into the opportunities of e-commerce and money making. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, so that's my preamble to this. So just so you understand, the Zazzle is not a get rich quick scheme, but on the other hand, Zazzle has been an incredible opportunity for us as uh, designers and as creatives. And the cool part is, is that some of our students who are doing our best in the courses that we run to teach people how we've done this on Zazzle are actually not creatives. They just learned how to do it or they buy the graphics or whatever, because it's really still a business, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, whether you're a creative or a non-creative, this is something you should think about and look at, right? It's not a matter of just sourcing, you know, cat socks from a particular seller that can, you know, sell it to everybody in the States. You can do that, obviously, with some uh, supplies, uh, uh, sorry, some opportunities like Shopify or Amazon where you're doing what's called drop shipping. Um, or even if you want to uh, make those socks yourself, you can put it on Etsy, which is awesome. However, we, when we first looked to see what kind of business opportunity there was for us, we said, hey, we don't want to work as hard. <laughs> We want everybody else to do everything for us, and we still want to make money. How how can we do that? And Mm -hmm. it turns out that Zazzle, and we don't want to spend any money except for our time and internet and a laptop uh, in order to make that money. Mm -hmm. And those are like like really high standards. And so we did that on Zazzle. We've now sold over $15 million worth of products on Zazzle. And we've taken home $1.5 in uh, earnings, right? Because that's the other thing. We set our royalty at 10%, so that it's not like 10% profit. It's that we set our royalties for 10%. And then, uh, so we out of our sales, we get 10% 
of mm -hmm. what our sales are, right? That's the way it works on Zazzle. Zazzle does the work, we pay them, we get a royalty, we don't have to do any work, and it, and it turns out it's a nice little um, chunk of money that we can make. The other thing is, is that that money that we receive doesn't have to pay for anything. It doesn't have to pay for ads. It doesn't have to pay for website development if we don't want it to. It, does, it has, doesn't have to pay for VAT taxes and sales taxes. We get to keep that money. Mm -hmm. And that's the cool part of our business. Because remember at the beginning, I was saying that, hey, how much of that money that they say they make every month is truly their money? Or is it all just going back out to something else because they have to pay for all their expenses? Mm -hmm. We have very few expenses. So what are some of the other things that we really love about Zazzle that makes it so easy for um, people to start a store and, and do stuff on yeah. compared to Amazon, Shopify, and Etsy? Well, Amazon, Shopify, and Etsy, they're all different platforms and they have all different sign-up processes, but especially on Zazzle, it's super easy. All you have to do is have a working email and access to that working email, and then you're able to open up your first account and open up your first store and literally post your first product for sale all within maybe, let's say, 30 minutes or 40 minutes. Not even. Not yeah. even. If we use, if you use our course, it like takes take 15 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> And so it's extremely easy to start and open up your store. Obviously, the um, part that is so important is actually doing it properly and getting the proper advice and learning from experts like myself and Elka on how to make sure that you're doing it properly. But anyone literally in the world can open up a Zazzle store today, right now, and have things working for them. And um, the reason why we love it so much compared to like Etsy and Amazon and Shopify is because you don't have to have any experience or you don't have to pay any fees or you don't have to like website to um, create a website like if you were to do um, Shopify yeah. and, or drop shipping and also on Etsy for example every time that you list a product for sale you have to pay a certain fee for it and so Zazzle is just extremely easy in terms of the initial setup and actually just the accessibility for you as a designer to create a space for you to sell online um, through their platform and that's what we really love about it as well um, in addition to that obviously there's like you as a designer you can create your store and you literally have no responsibility for a customer service or product production or shipping or handling and so as a designer all you have to do is literally create the products and create the designs and then Zazzle handles everything else after that um, in terms of as I said customer service shipping and handling and production and then also even external marketing too yeah. and so as a Zazzle designer as soon as you come onto the Zazzle space you literally just get to have fun and create obviously you need to do things Things properly like I mentioned it's building a business and you want to build a profitable one so you need to know what you're doing but it's extremely easy to start it takes so much of the other stuff that yeah. has to be done if you're going to be on Amazon or on Shopify or Etsy yeah. that uh, you no longer have to do as part of your to-do list right and let's go back even to some of the pieces that you mentioned because you went through so many mm -hmm. of the advantages one was the uh, quota Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, like Amazon, you have to have a certain quota of sales. Otherwise, you're no longer in their, you know, this particular merch program or whatever. Yeah. Uh, so that's really important. Uh, secondly, the uh, fees, which, you know, it gets if you want to sell like Don and I, we have over 10,000 products or yeah. something like that. Can you imagine if those were all Each fee based yeah. listed products? I, it, it would be crazy. Yeah. I'd be giving so much of my profits back to Amazon or Etsy or whatever. Mm -hmm. And um, then the, the other thing that was really cool was um, Jen said customer service. That takes up so much time. Yeah. Talking back and forth with the customer, um, getting the product ready to ship out. I know some of it can be automated if if you're on like Shopify or and you have a direct seller, um, like something with direct shipping or sorry drop shipping set up, then you can maybe get rid of that aspect. But we've never like we've maybe helped some customers with some customer orders. Yeah. But even after we've done the like first work in terms of getting that the design product, uh, to, sorry the product designed then it's just all up to Zazzle and they deal with making sure the customer pays, <laughs> making sure that the uh, you know customer's happy. If there's any issues, they take care of it, customer service, and they deal with all the shipping and, and production and manufacturing. Yeah. I also really love, and you didn't mention this yet, but Zazzle has 
thousands of products yep. that they have done all the agreements with with all the suppliers so anyone who's doing um like shopify and you're trying to find a supplier that can actually you know be part of your business and then do that negotiation and set on a contract in terms of prices and all that stuff it's just so much easier all we do is like check out the design menu and see oh i want to design on shoes today yeah or mm -hmm. i want to design on um you know, icing covered Oreos today, which they have actually on Zazzle, or I want to just make a business card or I want to do a t-shirt or a mug. And so the, the cool part too, is that there's such a wide variety of products that you can put your designs on, on the Zazzle marketplace. So that no matter what niche you're in and what you want to actually sell, more than likely they've got it. And even a couple of things extra that you didn't think you wanted to sell on, but now you can. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so that's cool. That whole aspect of, um, you know, getting ready to set up your store to figure out your products and know. And that's the other thing. Most people, if you're on Amazon or Shopify, you have to actually decide what you're going to like invest your money in mm -hmm. right and invest your time in we can just throw like literally throw up some designs on some products if they don't work there's no in financial um, repercussions yep. except for our our small amount of time right there's no outlay there, uh, no outlay for you know i need to buy this many products and have them in my garage or yep. um, i've made all these products on for etsy to sell and uh, you know nobody liked the color purple and i made 100 purple socks that's not the case right it's just a digital product remember mm -hmm. print on demand and so the print on demand option means that it's just all virtual and no one's really made any outlay until a customer decides to purchase yeah. and then zazzle uh, prints and so there's no like the, that is just the biggest uh, business model advantage that Zazzle has because there's really nothing happening until the customer actually says yeah here's my money and uh, that's fantastic right mm -hmm. um, and the the other piece of all of that is you don't need to sit there and negotiate all these contracts and you're lim not limited as you would be if you had like uh, like if you want to shop uh, do Amazon and you want to do even be part of their merch you're limited to t-shirts and mugs and pop, um, pop sockets right or something like that uh, maybe later there'll be more products or when you're listening to this podcast but the idea here is is that well I want to design on more than pop sockets I want to design on pop sockets sockets and I want to design on cell phone cases and I want to design on this and I want to design on that and why not like that just opens up my inventory opportunities to such a great de uh, degree compared to some of the other options that you have available online mm -hmm. to make money. Yeah. Okay, what else? Because there's more pieces, right? There's like ad spend, for example. Do you want to talk about that? You can talk about that if you want. The... Or even like a, a student of ours who actually just recently joined us in the Profit by Design Academy, which is our signature course. Um, they uh, were just so happy with that business model that Zazzle has because they no longer have to work with their accountants for three months to try and figure right. out all the VAT tax, which is like he's in, they were in Europe. And so um, this was like a three month chore for him just before, you know, he had to submit the yearly taxes. He had yeah. to figure out all the VAT or sales tax. And that can be quite a chore yep. if you are, you know, selling quite a lot of stuff. And now all of a sudden it's like, what? I don't have to deal with taxes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, yeah, Zazzle takes care of all of that for yeah. you. Yeah. So. Yeah, no, that's a large chunk of time and it's <laughs> definitely very tedious. Yeah. As well, if, you, if you're in other spaces like Amazon or Shopify um, or even Etsy and you're paying for AdSense or um, Facebook ads to bring traffic to your store or bring traffic to your website, uh, Zazzle doesn't, you don't need to do that with Zazzle because Zazzle does their own external marketing and does their own, um, you know, ads. And then even on Google, when you search, let's say, for example, baby shower invitations, you have a couple other print-on-demand websites that pop up um, for your search results, but most of the time, Zazzle is the top-ranked uh, search result um, 
result that you get when you search for certain things in terms of like customizable products. And so you as a Zazzle designer, even though you think that you're just a tiny designer on Zazzle and you're only like within your own store, you're actually being promoted all over on the internet space. And um, Zazzle's pumping a lot of marketing into their website because When Zazzle makes a sale, um, not only do you make money, but Zazzle makes money. And so Zazzle is actually working for you to help designers sell their products, which Mm -hmm. is pretty cool. Yeah. And uh, Jen just uh, touched on it. Zazzle is one, if not the only company right now where you can, as a customer, uh, go in and customize a product. So you're not just stuck with the design. Mm -hmm. You can actually... Uh, change it you can add text you can change out the photos you can change out the you know you can change everything really um, from the original design and believe it or not you still get paid even the customer if the customer changes it to something completely different if they started out with your design you still get the royalty Mm -hmm. from them starting out with your design even if it looks absolutely nothing like what you designed or if they switch the product like they take your original design and they decide to transfer that design to another product you still get that royalty i know and that's so cool because you don't actually have to come up with the magic design Mm -hmm. that sells people are actually making their own design based on something that they started out with your design. And some people are going like, no, don't alter my design. It's like, yes, alter my design, make yourself happy so that I can get my royalty. Mm -hmm. And I think that's so important because it expands our ability to sell to many, even if uh, we started with one design, right? Mm -hmm. Whereas if you're locked in with a design, uh, that's it. There's nothing you can do unless you have like a customization option in your Etsy store, for example, where you work with the client and every uh, minute that you work with the client, you're losing out on your profitability Mm -hmm. because they're they're taking up your time to do more work and create more products that you can sell. And so we really love that, that basically all of that uh, consultation and uh, customization that you would do this back and forth with um, customization for like what's in uh, sorry weddings and baby showers and all those occasion events where you actually need the customer to tell you their details um, you no longer have to do that and you don't have to do the work and you don't have to do the the back and forth Mm -hmm. because zazzle they just do it right there on the platform they see the results, they decide if they like it, and if they do, they buy, and then Zazzle prints it. Mm-hmm. And it's like, oh, wait a minute, what happened there? Just like, so this is magic, because now all of those things that usually take away your time and your profitability are just wiped out. Mm-hmm. Instead, you get more profit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a couple of our top sellers are stationary items and we've sold hundreds of thousands of copies of them. And each one is completely different because each customer has gone in and changed the details or customized the product. And so it's just really mind blo- like mind blowing to think of the fact that hundreds of thousands of copies of certain products have been sold to thousands of people around the world and each person has bought like the original design came from myself or from Alka but at the end of the day their design is uniquely 100% theirs and no one else has purchased that type of design because they've made it their own which is really neat. Which I think is so important because in terms of uh, like running a business it allows the customer to make their own design you don't have to make a copy and then it doesn't sell Um, and also Uh, We didn't even touch on this yet, but a lot of our products, a little bit, I guess we touched on this, a a lot of our products sell, even though we made them like in 2008 and 2010, Mm -hmm. 2012, and they're still selling. So you make a product once, it's still in the marketplace, and you get to sell it even in 2021. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Well, we still sell products that we made over 10 years ago, which is really amazing. And so that really lends to the passive aspect of this whole business. And that's what we want, right? We want sales to come in every single day, even though we worked five years ago on that product. Mm-hmm. Because that means that over time when we do work, and we work about four hours a month at most to keep maintaining our Zazzle business and earning the income we want, And because we only really work four hours a month, that means we can do other stuff, right? 
even though we're maintaining that income. Mm -hmm. And we love that about Zazzle because it's uh, if you set up your product inventory properly, which is what we teach in the Profit by Design Academy in our coaching, then that's when the magic starts to happen and it becomes so much easier than constantly maintaining an Amazon store and meeting those quotas and dealing with physical products and constantly figuring out the latest SEO from Google changes mm -hmm. and so on. It just doesn't need to be because Zazzle's this platform that allows you to take away from so many of the things that are the make work projects and allows you to receive the passive income while not working so hard, which is like high five to that. <laughs> yeah. We love it. And if we wanted to, we could make our um, incomes higher per month, definitely. Um, but we've actually just, you know, what is it that you're doing this all for, right? You, you want to make a consistent, steady income. You don't want to be working all the time or even... Like, if you want to, you can obviously make more money per month. But we saw, you know, 100000 100, a year is a nice like, little bit of money that keeps coming in. And it's like, I can live off of that. So if you want to make more, the potential is to make more. And what we love about this is that we're not the only ones that have done this. There's lots of people on Zazzle that have done this. They just don't teach it. Or they, they don't tell people about how much they made. But our students are generous enough to allow us to talk about their successes. So in the last three years, when we've been teaching, uh, because before that we were just Zazzle designers, like anyone else uh, who's on the Zazzle platform, and we still are Zazzle designers, because mm -hmm. that's the other thing a lot of people you know have one good... Um, you know, success run, and then they make a course and they t talk about it, and then they they they've lost their knack. But we're right in the trenches with our Zazzle designer uh, co um, members, <laughs> and we're constantly still um, selling on Zazzle and learning, and mm -hmm. uh, you know, keep evolving with whatever Zazzle does in the terms of changes. Um, and our students, um, even though they just started three years ago have already reached uh, like sometimes 150,000, 100,000. It's really nice to see that within a very short time period, which took us years because we had to work on this all, you know, trial and error, mm -hmm. figure it out on our own. It's really nice to know that the five strategies that we teach are helping our students do much better and reaching really higher and higher goals compared to what um, we even had as we moved through this. And so it is possible to meet, make those big numbers if you want to, right? You just have to use, you have to just build your business up and helping uh, with, uh, helping that move along and get there faster are the five strategies that Jen and I teach in our Profit by Design Academy bootcamp mm -hmm. and also in our Creative CEO Mastermind um, sessions. Now, um, the, the cool part is, is that there is no limit. The only limit is 100,000 products on Zazzle. Can you imagine if 100,000 products on Zazzle could be working for you? Mm -hmm. And first of all, could you reach 100,000 products in terms of making them? I don't know, but you don't need 100,000 products to actually make that money. Um, a lot of our products that generate most of our income, like 80% of our income, come from about 20% of our product inventory. Mm -hmm. And that's another thing that we teach our students. It's it's important to have a, a wider reach of products so that you can test different markets out and do some A-B testing. However, ultimately what you end up is with as a business that allows you to, with a very core set of products, generate quite a lot of income, which is awesome, right? Because then you know what you have to focus on. And that's the other part about making this business easy is once you've sort of nailed your niche and nailed your product inventory suite, then the rest is maintenance. Mm -hmm. And uh, that so that takes it even to another level because in all these other um, opportunities like Amazon, Shopify, and Etsy, you're constantly always trying to one-up things and get better and compete and fill your quota and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, whereas uh, we're just, you know, managing our products yeah uh, just kind of like it's almost like should i tell people that because it's it's so much easier than anything else but i think a lot of people don't realize how easy it is and and we have spoken about 
the word easy and said it multiple times, it is easy to start and to grow if you know what you're doing. Yes. To work harder and to work smarter and not harder. And that's yeah. exactly what we tell our students in our Profit by Design Academy boot camp and then also our mastermind participants in the Creative CEO Mastermind. The reason why our students are doing so well is because they're taking our advice and they're learning from us and they're implementing what we've told them within the five strategies and then also within like our private one-on-one coaching. And, and the cool part is, is that we tell people to do 100 products a month and at 20 hours a month working time. And most people initially go like, I don't think I can do that. But guess what? The, the, the top earners in our courses have actually stuck to that because they mm-hmm. have another like full-time day job yep. and they can't even do any more than the 20 hours a month. And they're still doing really, really well. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's super exciting. So do you want to recap and then we should yeah. wrap up the episode? So Zazzle is so much easier in our opinion to run as an e-commerce business than many other platforms out there like Amazon, Shopify, and Etsy. And it's basically because of everything that we told you, but you as a Zazzle designer, you can, you like the, the world is your oyster when you come on to Zazzle because Zazzle deals with so many um, things that normally would be part of a business that take up your time, like customer service and shipping and handling and production and website design and marketing and fees and uh, quotas and all all of these things that basically doesn't exist on Zazzle because Zazzle deals with all of those things or um, for example with the quotas and fees they don't happen because when you sell a product on Zazzle you earn a royalty so most of the like you are helping Zazzle build their business while you're building your own business and that's the reason why most other platforms ask you for fees is because you take 100% of the actual product home um, in terms of your sales and then you actually have to pay for taxes and all of that stuff as well and so those fees are incorporated on their platform for that reason and it's just wonderful t- to feel like you're literally making money in your sleep when you're on Zazzle and you can be making money you know while you're having fun or spending time with your family and uh, friends and you don't have to worry about all of these other things that would take up your time and um, wear you down actually too yeah yeah it just makes me tired yeah. thinking about all these other options that you need to do in order to be successful on Amazon or yeah. Shopify yeah so um yeah Thank you so much for yeah, listening and, to... And then do we have anything else? And then the really nice thing is every month you get paid out. Yep. Oh, yeah. We didn't even talk about that yet. <laughs> <laughs> you get paid out. And Zazzle has this really great um, system set up with PayPal um, or by check. And then also you literally can make money anywhere in the world. We have students who have come to us from Asia, from Australia, from North America, from... Um, like, yeah, everywhere in the world. Everywhere in the um, world. I think we need a student from... I don't even know, but like we're, Antarctica. we're running, yeah, Antarctica. <laughs> the, everyone else is already, yeah, been yeah, somewhere on the on the planet. <laughs> yes, so it's really easy for some anyone around the world, as long as you have an, an internet connection and a laptop or some way to post products for sale and be connected by a tablet or computer, then you're able to set up your store quite easily and start. So hopefully we've given you a, a glimpse. Uh, if not like a total gushing because we love Zazzle so much of um, an opportunity that people don't really get and understand right mm-hmm. away because they think it's got to be more involved or it's got to be more difficult yep. because... Or there's uh, got to be a catch or something. There's got to be a catch. <laughs> the catch <laughs> is you have to still do, work smarter um, at posting products that people want to sell, to yep. buy, right? And when we talk about posting products, it's like taking the blanks and adding a design that people will be interested in to pay money for, Mm -hmm. right? And so that's where our courses come in. But so much else that you normally would not need as part of creating and building up an online e-commerce business are just taken out of the picture. So you can focus on, you know, product development and you can focus on like making sure that things are found in the marketplace. So many easy, like it's... It's almost as if it's like better to start on Zazzle than move to Amazon or something, maybe, if you want to, but you'll never because it'll be so easy. You won't even want to go to Amazon after uh, because it's just such a nice environment and business model. And so hopefully we've we've convinced you to give the Zazzle at least a try. Mm-hmm. And if you want to ramp it up really fast, you know where to find us because we're, we've been really fortunate to be successful and help uh, our students so far in the last three years sell over $6 million worth of product. Mm-hmm. And uh, so that's cool. 
that's really cool. And I hope that you can be part of that statistic yeah. at some point in the future. Yeah. So thank you so much for listening to another episode of the Creative and Ambitious Entrepreneur Podcast. And we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.